Hey, it's Matt with your A1 Minute Week in Review presented by Plumber Near Me. Amid ongoing problems with mail delivery in Virginia, Senator Tim Kaine and seven other members of Virginia's congressional delegation have written a letter to the United States Post Office Inspector General to press their concerns. The letter follows delays and disruptions in local mail service and a recent court case that involves the theft of mail by a former mail carrier. And Richmond Mayor LeVar Stoney rebuffed a call from the Virginia legislators for VCU Health to terminate its $56 million contract with the city, stemming from a collapsed deal. The agreement to redevelop the downtown public safety building was signed in 2021, but failed a few months later because of soaring construction costs and souring demand for downtown office space. Republican Governor Glenn Youngkin described the state budget as something that would take Virginia backwards. The budget was approved by the Democratic-controlled General Assembly before going to the governor. He claims it amounts to a $2.6 billion tax increase after legislators rejected his proposal of across-the-board cuts in income taxes. And about 6 billion oysters have been added to the Chesapeake Bay since 2017 by the Chesapeake Oyster Alliance. The alliance has brought together more than 100 partner organizations in Virginia and Maryland, and its goal is to introduce 10 billion oysters through efforts in restoration and aquaculture. And about a thousand Dollar Tree and Family Dollar stores owned by Chesapeake-based Dollar Tree will close. The company announced it would close about 600 Family Dollar stores in the first half of this year and 370 Family Dollar and 30 Dollar Trees over the next several years. And Charlottesville attorney Jasmine Yoon received Senate confirmation Tuesday to become the U.S. District Judge for the Western District of Virginia. She will be the first Asian American jurist in the state and the first person of color to be judge in the district. And the Virginia General Assembly is cracking down on vaping with bills imposing stiff penalties for underage sales and a registry system aimed at barring sales of e-cigarettes that are avoiding U.S. Food and Drug Administration oversight. That's it for this week's A1 Minute Week in Review presented by Plumber Near Me. Make sure you pick up a copy of Sunday's paper for a more detailed recap of news from across the state.